I've spent the last decade sailing to some of the most remote islands and archipelagos on the planet, offering luxury expedition style charters, and I've yet to come across a boat that's so well suited to its intended purpose. This shows how successful a collaboration between an owner, builder and yacht designer can be when embarking on a custom built yacht. Today we are on board Salty, a Two Oceans Marine 850E power catamaran designed by award-winning yacht design firm Detroit Yacht Design. My name is Mark Watrous. Welcome to Cape Town, South Africa. Salty was built by Two Ocean Marine Manufacturing in the heart of Cape Town, which is not only known for building the largest custom-built catamarans in the Southern Hemisphere, but also well-known performance catamarans such as the Balance brand. More time and attention to detail went into this build than any other production catamaran in the world. With the length overall of 82 feet and a beam of 36 feet, Salty offers a lot of square footage real estate. Perhaps the most compelling specification is the draft of 3.9 feet, allowing her crew to navigate in the most skinny waters in the Bahamas, reaching anchorages that her single-held counterparts can only dream of going. This allows the owner and his guests front row seating into the most beautiful bays that the Caribbean has to offer, and also peace of mind to the helmsman. I'm going to give you an exclusive walkthrough of the boat and show you why she stands head and shoulders above other yachts in her class. By far, my favorite place on this boat has to be the firebridge and is comprised of several very unique spaces. Starting aft, we have a full-size 1000 litre jacuzzi that's completely open aired and has an island style shape with teak side walkways. We've got a day bed to starboard and a day bed to port, as well as storage underneath the jacuzzi. Moving forward to port, we've got a U-shaped settee with Ralph Lauren fabrics and Ralph Lauren scattered cushions, a walnut coffee table, which is a great area for serving cocktails and having canapes. Moving to the starboard side of the flybridge, we have a full U-shaped wet bar with a professional hot and cold mixer, an ice maker, and dual pull-out fridges, and a Corian countertop. I love the fact that you can face forward whilst your guests are sitting on the U-shaped settee and watching you handcraft cocktails and they are waiting in anticipation. It's really nice to be able to face away just so that you're not sitting on top of the guests themselves. Another very unique space on this flybridge is the L-shaped settee facing forward, which is really a great place to have your coffees in the morning whilst underway. Now one of the more important spaces on the boat is the forward helm station with the bench seat and backrest for four. At the helm, we have a Simrad electronics package with dual plotters, which is really important for being able to put the radar on one side and the chart on another when navigating at night. And not only that, if you're in a really good fishing area and let's say the Bahamas, you can have two different sets of fish finding devices on one side and your chart on the other for quick mark placement. We've got boat speeds, depth, wind indicator, autopilot, your VHF, and all your light controls on this side with electronic throttles right here close to the helm. What I really like about this space is the protection you feel at the helm, the ability to see both bows when going forward, especially at a high speed of a power catamaran. And I really like that this bench seat is made for several people to sit and enjoy this experience with the captain. There's a beautiful backrest and a lovely padded bench seat. Something that I think is really important to add, and you often see this at the flybridge because it's often an afterthought with most builders, is the structural integrity of the boat. You can see it in the structural beams here. It's not just stainless steel bolted into the, the massive bimini that we have here, but the boat's actually constructed of epoxy e-gloss, a PVC foam core, and a sandwich construction. And we've also got carbon supports in the structural areas. Now this is a handcrafted beam, and it just looks so beautiful with this large bimini. The colors match, it's a great shape, and you can feel the, the rigidness that it be actually becomes a part of the boat's fabric, and that is really important. I've noticed no creaks on this boat, as you would with a production catamaran. Starboard off, we've got a full-size day head, so you don't have to go down the stairs to head to the restroom, and if you hop out of the jacuzzi, you can go straight to the restroom without having to go down the stairs whilst you're wet. Moving to the front deck, we've got an oversized Maxwell 3,600 watt windlass with dual anchors. We've got one 150 pound Rockner anchor, one 150 pound 
delta anchor with 13 mil galvanized calibrated chain. What you often don't see on a catamaran in this size range is the ability to house two wave runner jet skis with its own aluminium support beams on the bow. An 800 kilo crane that's used to launch both the jet skis and a great feature about this crane is underneath me right here in between the two crew cabins we've got all the electrical systems and that includes massive master bolt lithium ion batteries. The crane can be used to pick up batteries, move them off the boat and put them back on again which to me when you're renting a crane for $400 an hour is a great feature. Underfoot up in the 4 peak here I've got one of two uh, crew cabins. Uh, each crew cabin has two bunks and an ensuite head and shower which makes a really comfortable living space for the crew. We've got that on port and starboard. Moving forward to the bow We've got a dive locker up forward in this bow compartment and in that four peak we've got a tool room slash fender room where we can hang the lines and other extra equipment so we've got a lot of storage up front here. As we make our way towards this side of the boat we've got two horizontal day beds with added storage underneath. One feature I really love is the massive day bed that you can access either walking up these steps or coming down from the flybridge, which must be a beautiful place to sit when you're cruising at 18 knots on a calm day. To starboard, we have an oversized tramp, which is a great place to put some mattresses and chill during the day. One feature I really like about this anchor area is the ability to access each individual anchor and set your bridle from this location instead of leaning over the bow. Moving aft, we've got some really large sugar scoops and a great feature is the added storage underneath in the sugar scoop for some of the water toys. Both the starboard and port side have boarding ladders so you can swim and just chill on this massive space. And I really like this as a power catamaran is being able to fish and land a fish at water level and bring it up onto the back deck. Underfoot, we've got one of two mechanical spaces housing the Cummins QSM 11 610 horsepower diesel engines, which gets the boats at an economical cruising speed of 10 knots and a max speed of 22 knots. In the mechanical spaces, we also have three water makers with the ability to make a thousand liters an hour and two diesel generators. They, the Onan versions, we've got a 19 kVA Onan diesel generator and a 50 kVA Onan diesel generator, which is more than enough power to power this whole ship. Another thing you don't see on catamarans in this size range is the ability to house two full-size tender, one 20-foot Gemini with a center console on teak decking and two 70 uh, horsepower uh, Yamahas, and the other a 16-footer Gemini with teak decking and one 70 horsepower Yamaha. A 1500 steelhead marine crane is used to deploy the tenders in the water. And not only that, a unique feature with having a crane in that position is they can also remove the engines for rebuild and repair and also a generator for rebuild and repair without having to hire a crane. Underfoot is the second mechanical space that houses the diesel engine, the generator, and also the dive compressor that's used to fill up the bottles on the aft deck so you can take the guest diving. The great thing about this deck is once the tender's removed and the chocks are removed, this huge teak area becomes almost like a cabana lounge area with its own tent and shade netting. And it really is a unique space. You could use it for just chilling during the day as a dance floor, as a guest serving area, just a really unique spot to chill in the sun. Moving into the cockpit, an integral part of it and the absolute focal point of this cockpit is the walnut table that offers alfresco dining for up to 10 people with handcrafted the Dion chairs. To port, we have a massive wet bar, professional hot and cold mixer, full storage underneath with an oversized stainless steel high pressure barbecue and extractor fan. This is a great place to cook a full size fish fillet and still have enough room for steaks on those surf and turf evenings. A great feature in this cockpit on the starboard side is that it has the ability to house four oversized chest freezers that are plug and play units so you can take them out and service them easily and not only that you can have seafood, protein and dairy all separated which is a great thing when fishing in the Bahamas you don't want to store different proteins with fish or lobster or something of that nature. You've got a day bed to the starboard side of this for one person which is a great little feature and an opening window besides that gives you some sun protection. Above the barbecue we also have another full-size daybed with its own window 
a little bit of sun protection, but it allows you to just move in and out of the sun however you prefer. Moving into the salon and galley, I just want to comment on how immense this galley is. It takes the full width of the beam. The theme of the Burmese teak on the outside deck follows its way onto a sealed Burmese teak on the interior. A really great feature is this breakfast bar that has a backlit light, which you can use as a pop-up workspace, a breakfast bar, a place to have your coffee in the mornings, but most importantly, it houses some of the key appliances that makes living off-grid in remote places very easy. To port we have a vegetable wash basin with a hot and cold mixer, immense storage on the, the outboard side. This is just one of several storage areas. This is used to house the drinks and as you can see along the full width of the outboard side is just storage so you don't have to put storage into the house. That's to maximize owner use downstairs. We've got an ice maker, a dishwasher, farm sink with Corian countertops. In between the breakfast bar and the stove area, we've got three pull-out drawer fridges with six individual compartments, an oven, a five burner stove top with an extractor fan. And I love these little features like this walnut insert, real wood insert for the drawers really is probably one of the most beautiful galleys I've had the pleasure of being in. To starboard we have a warmer drawer to keep the food warm, a microwave, Corian countertop, a full set of drawers and cupboards, and then a huge array of storage on the outboard side that you can access from over the top. The entire galley and salon is flooded with natural light from 360 degree panoramic views. And I must say this Burmese teak just feels so nautical. And even though it's not a sailboat, it gives that really great sailboat feel. As we transition from the galley into the salon area, we've got a full-size 4K high-definition television for movie nights, Ralph Lauren Ottomans, a beautiful lounging space, a nav station with all of your controls for the captain. On the opposite side to starboard, we have a walnut study table. Moving into the living spaces. Salty has four luxurious private VIP state rooms. Each cabin has a king size bed, ample storage space with an ensuite head and shower. The cabins are well ventilated, flooded with natural lights, and incredibly well appointed with real hardwood finishes. Burmese teak flooring and lavish mattresses from Hastings for a five star experience. A great feature of each cabin is that each cabin has its own stairwell private entrance with a companionway that makes it completely private. Salty is without a doubt one of the most remarkable power catamarans ever built. If you are on the market for a power catamaran that can take you around the world without compromising on luxury and comfort, I highly recommend you look further into this unique vessel. The same can be said if you're in the market for a yacht but want the added advantages of a catamaran with a shallow draft incredible fuel efficiency, low running costs, and space that is only comparable to a much larger yacht. I'd like to say thank you to the owner and the crew for accommodating me on board such a well-maintained vessel that is in like new condition, and the city of Cape Town for such a beautiful setting. I'm going to provide you with a link to the full listing below, as well as my contact details so that you can reach me directly for any additional information. Thank you for watching.